Good morning from a cloudy, breezy, awesome March weekend. Uh, this is Dustin here for Park Rovers. Uh, we have the whole crew today. We have uh, baby TJ. We have the beautiful wife, Maverick, Ronan, Colton, and their friend Mason. And we're going to enjoy the day here at King's Dominion. Check out what they've added in Jungle Expedition since Andrew's been here. And uh, hopefully hop on Twisted Timbers and a couple other things. Park is open until 5 today. We're here a little bit before 11. And we're going to go check it out. We'll see you on the other side. International Street. One of the best. One of the best park entrances. And a Peanuts character. I don't, do you remember which one this is? <laughs> okay, good, it's not just me. All right, boys are checking out the map. Linus. That's Linus? I'm like 99. Linus doesn't put, Linus has the blankie. And I don't know who It's Schroeder. That's it. Schroeder. At least I think, I don't know. <laughs> All right, yeah, we can go. Do you want to trade children right now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Trade children. <laughs> here, come here, bud. <laughs> it is Schroeder. We were right. All right. <laughs> it's Schroeder. <laughs> Awesome! Thank you, Schroeder. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Hey, right, come on, big man. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is all Cedar Fair parks, I think, are cashless this year. So if you bring cash in, like Ronan's friend did, you can get a card. And uh, I don't think there are any fees or anything to this, but this one is right at the front of the park. And I'll try to point out any others that I might see. All right, at the base of the Eiffel Tower, there's a pretzel stand and a pizza parlor. So the boys got their food. And I am heading over to Grain and Grill, more specifically the bar next to Grain and Grill, to grab the Tumbili Lager and something for the missus. Let you know what we get. In the shadow of the Eiffel Tower, we are eating and drinking. Jenna got a rosé with bubbles. Yeah. And? It's good. It's good. Yeah, it, um, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. I think they over salted the pretzels. You I can agree. brush the salt off. Yeah, when it tastes <laughs> Say that was only $9.99, which I thought, I mean, again, for theme park prices. I, the reason for me going, the Tumbili Tropical Lager. That is a good beer. That is a beer that even non beer drinkers would like. Let me try. <laughs> Like you definitely um, like citrus infused lager, and it is. <laughs> like you definitely taste the orange and the lemon. Oh, yeah. Five percent, and this was eleven ninety nine. All right, boys are gonna finish eating. Maverick's gonna continue to be dangerous, and we're gonna head over and explore the jungle soon. So, I don't know why Andrew, the childless one, would skip uh, Planet Snoopy, but we're going to walk through Planet Snoopy. Actually, we're going to walk like Planet Snoopy adjacent, um, but we will end up back here at some point today, I'm sure. We're going to the jungle! Yep. We are right, heading to the jungle. There are some things that Maverick can ride here, though. Like Blue Blasters. He can ride Blue Blasters. Yep with an accompanied adult, which I was so surprised. 
And the first ride for the big boys today is going to be the Dodgums. Which are right across from the singing mushrooms that aren't singing right now. Maverick has big dreams and aspirations. I just don't think at two and a half, he gonna make it. <laughs> All right, big boys waited a whole zero cycles to get on. And it's just the three. <laughs> and Colt seems to be stuck over there. Their swings. I know you're not big enough yet. You'll get to go on some rides. Good news, he wants to go on rides. Bad news, he ain't big enough for that one. All right, we haven't made it to the jungle yet. Oh! Oh! Hey! That was a good try. <laughs> Ah! Nav's yeah. like, I feel like I won. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another time, all right, bud? Here we are. Welcome to Jungle Expedition. All right. Andrew highlighted a lot of things like this awesome map over here. So I'm not going to focus too much on that. I'm gonna focus on all the stuff that they have added in the last two weeks since he was here. Would you like to point out the bathrooms right here? Yeah, just because as a parent, that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to go way far into the area to get to where you probably need to be. <laughs> all right, something that I have not seen anybody else point out, but there is a big old X right here. And it's Haram oh, Harambe's treasure now. Okay. So there's a great backstory on parkrovers.com. Um, Katie Fans has done a good backstory. Um, on our YouTube channel, Andrew has dug into the backstory of Jungle Expedition. Um, the boys are checking out the map here. Oh, there's the Outpost Cafe. And I'm assuming right next to it is going to be the Tingu's Bar. I don't know if the Tingu's Bar is going to be inside or if it's going to be that door off to the side, but either way, I'm excited for Tingu's Bar. All right. All right, we're gonna head over towards Arachnidia because that's what the big boys want to ride first. Hello. Oh, they switched this around. It's over here now. All right. So we have this airplane that Professor Winston Way. Gerard Winston Way, it's one of those two. Stewart. Professor Way. It's airplane. Professor Way's airplane. Yeah, but what's up? His new name is Stewart. <laughs> Professor Monkey Stewart. Conveniently, with Tim Beely in the background. Monkey, Monkey Stewart. <laughs> uh, on Flat Rock here, they have added some painting. Those used to just be buffed out. I see, I see, monkey! I see my monkey go! Woo, woo, yeah, I see! Monkey, I see! Oh, that? That's good! Yeah. We've got Reptilian going up the lift there. It's amazing what paint will do. Keep pointing.
Over on this side, we have Arachnidia, which I'm sure the big boys have ridden seven times at this point already. They've cleared out a lot of like the bushes and the shrubs. It looks great. Looks like they did paint some on the uh, on the concrete too. And my son is about to go ride, so. And now we get to conquer our fear of crocodiles. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm sorry, reptilians. Yeah. All right, so we're off to reptilian. But we face our fears because monkeys eat spiders. Um, <laughs> but reptiles eat monkeys, so. There we go. But there's um, there's a such thing as fighting, and there have been monkeys fighting lizards. Say our monkey rolled there we go. My cousin has made this. Take King, take King Kong versus Godzilla, for example. Am I right? They did cover up the uh, the insulation, so life is good. Technically, King Kong versus Godzilla is monkey versus. All right, we're off to reptilian. All right, uh, are we ready? Are you ready? Uh, I'm looking through monkey suit. All right. What's the argument? New credit? I don't call this a new credit. Paint, paint jobs and new names are not new credits. There is no significant change to the ride experience. But I'm very excited for the change to the ride experience. All right, we'll catch you in the station. Quick look at the reptilian station. It's amazing what paint can do. Just hopped off of reptilian. It's amazing what a little paint can do. As we had, ooh, some hieroglyphics in the uh, tunnel now. Monkey, Arachnidia, Reptilian, Tambili. It's all coming together, friends. Such fun ride. Jimbili's heading up. I have no idea how to gauge a line. Knowing what I know about these rides, I'd say that's about a half hour, but could be more, could be less. <laughs> oh, we might get on to Beely today. We might not get on to Beely today. Monkeys aren't the animals here. Right? We'll see. There is. There is a test seat. We have an official test seat now. Do you want to go demonstrate the test seat for us? Can I do it after? Sure. Yep. <laughs> and as long as that seat belt can buckle. All right, Ronan can ride. Okay, so we have explored the jungle, and now we have walked over to Boo Blasters, and the good news is, this goober can ride. You ready? Let's go. Put that Capri Sun down and let's go. Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. Uh, 
Going into Boo Blasters on Boo Hill, even though we went down into a swamp. Logic. Love it. <laughs> Alright, here we go, friends. All right, just got off Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. It was not my first time, but it was Maverick's first time. And it was Mason's first time. Mavi, was it good? Yeah. That was fun, you liked that? All right, y'all, big news, big news here, big news. Colton, my non-coaster rider, wants to try Woodstock Express. Let's do it. We're gonna head into Planet Snoopy and we're gonna try Woodstock Express, which is technically a new credit for me too. All right, as we're coming in from the back end of Planet Snoopy, essentially, we have uh, Snoopy versus Red Baron. Fun fact, I had a Red Baron uh, Ford Fusion called him the Red Baron because I had a Snoopy mobile as well as Jenna just rolled her eyes so loud I'm surprised she didn't hear it we've got Lucy Lucy say hi to Lucy Lucy and her tugboat I'll sit with you. And we'll sit in the middle. There is a sweet frog. All right, Woodstock Express is right down this little path here. And Colt's going to ride it. Very important, no eating, drinking, or smoking on the roller coaster. You know, the children's roller coaster. Colton demonstrating the children's roller coaster smoking. Like if I was the second I mean, thank goodness we're in the front, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, update. Um, Colt's seatbelt would not buckle, so now the whole ride has gone down. I will probably not get on this ride, just because that's how my life works. Colt will probably never ride this ride again, because he's not traumatized. Um, and we're going to go see what else we can do here. So All right, after some reorganizing, we're going to ride a couple of the uh, Planet Snoopy rides. We're going to start with Flying Ace Balloon Race. I'm going to go back to the jungle. We will go back to the jungle, yes. Because we didn't get to do all the rides in the jungle. Correct. We will go back to the jungle. All right, we got to wait our turn for Flying Ace Balloon Race. Snoopy Topiary. I swear that thing's fake every year, but I think it's real. And we just got a tip from uh, Expedition Theme Park on his Instagram story that there ain't like nobody at Twisted Timbers right now. So we're gonna swiftly <laughs> make our way back there. Hopefully it's still fairly not open. <laughs> or at least not busy.
We're going to fly an ace balloon race chase. Oh, yeah. Mavi loves his characters. Can you say hi? <laughs> oh, great waving, big man. Thank you so much. Yeah, right? Oh, there's more there's more peanuts topiaries that I swear are fake, but I'm sure are real. <laughs> some forms. We're on straight. Are we, which way is the best one? Straight towards the Eiffel Tower. And then to the left. <laughs> well, it's really cool for um, when Grand Carnival's here, like all of the um, country booths are set up along along like this pathway. Well that's what they did at uh, yeah. Christmas. Then you get that tasting card and you can literally just go from here to here to here to here. <laughs> oh it's the food tasting Yeah. Yeah. Like they're not spread throughout the park. There's like one here and there's one here and there's one here. Alright. I see a sign that says Twisted Timbers. That way. I see a sign that says Rest. That way. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I think pee break is needed for all. As we head to the Giant Floral Clock. Let's see if we can fast forward in time a little bit. And after walking down one of the most beautiful pathways, we are coming up on the floral clock at the center, question mark, of King's Dominion, question mark. <laughs> Country Kitchen smells really good today. All right. Floral clock. Real flowers, I swear, I swear. And like Andrew said, they are pushing the heck out of Grand Carnival, which is here for like two weeks, three weeks. Oh. <laughs> All right, we've got restroom straight ahead and then Twisted Timbers. Ronan and Mason and I are heading into the Twisted Timbers queue. I'm drinking a King's Brew IPA. Easily one of the best theme park beers. No smoking in queues. Don't be that person. On the outskirts of Candy Apple Grove sits the remains of the once thriving Haven Hill Orchard. Hanover Hill Orchard. He's like, no, 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 I have a mug that says it. Ugh, look at those sexy curves right there. Sexy curves, sexy curves. All right, here's the Hanover Hill Orchard with the glowing orb. All right, let's see if I can get over here for the best dish parts of the ride. <laughs> Coming back around. I love this ride. All right, we're gonna put you in a locker scene. We'll catch you on the flip side. So we just got off of Twisted Timbers. Well, like five minutes ago, we got off of Twisted Timbers. Uh, we were able to ride twice. There was no one waiting for our seat. So we rode in rows like eight, nine, something like that. Um, 
much. Mason, it was his first two times on it, absolutely loved it. Ronan and I loved it like always. We haven't been on since 2019. And then we skedaddled over to the Jukebox Diner. Um, updated menu, there was uh, chicken pot pie, there was uh, chicken fried steak, burgers, cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers. Uh, they had an Alfredo mac and cheese that looked good. We'll have to try that later this year. Um, we just got a parfait and some onion rings and fries. But that was also deliciously nummy. And we're going to head over towards Parched Pig. Boys will ride the flyers. Mason, I got to ask, did you like it? Yeah, but I think my soul, uh, I think my soul left my body. Fair. Fair. I can go with that. <laughs> Overall, they needed to open this ride a year earlier or a year later. It got completely overshadowed by Steel Vengeance, and it's not as good, but it's so close. Easily in my top ten. Here it comes. All right, so we're heading down towards the uh, flyers and the parched pig, but I have to point out that everybody got freaked out at the slingshot uh, sky ride. Sky shot. It scared, it scared the crap out of me. It scared the crap, literally, out of three of you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Big boys are going to go on the flyers. Awesome. Colt, are you going to get the flyers? I'm ready. All right, that way. Have fun. I'm thinking I'll roll down to Parch Pig and grab a grab my final draft. <laughs> All right. Do you want anything? Take baby with you? Yeah, I was gonna roll him. Oh, you gonna stay? You gonna sit sit with Colty? Listen, after they do the flyers, we'll do the uh, we'll do the car that you can do. Here, Mavi, why don't you come with me? Go get him. Here, come here, bud. Come here. All right, Mavi and I are gonna walk up to the Parch Pig. Parch Pig was one of the, if not the, first like craft brewery, craft beer, like soul spots, um, especially in a Cedar Fair Park. Like I know Bush and. SeaWorld have been doing craft beers for a while, but Parch Pig, to my knowledge, was one of the first places that you could get, like, a flight of beer, which I just think is awesome. I will not be getting a flight today. Parch's only open till 5, and it is 2 o'clock. But we do have Grizzly Falls. Oh, yes. Those are the ground hogs, the gophers. And here is the parched pig. Good, how you doing, sir? All right, let's check out the tap list. I'm pretty sure I already know what I'm getting. <laughs> How much is the flight? Fifteen eighty nine. Okay. Across the uh, path from Parch Pig is Dogwoods Grill, and. This has a corn dog. I'm gonna surprise the missus. Jenna, do you like your corn dog? I'm so happy right now. I know you are. <laughs> you want a bite? 
All right. Mason and Ronan are on the flyers. I'm drinking a Tubili Tropical Lager on draft. Barbara's walking past right now. Best bartender in the world right there. <laughs> it's a good day at King's Dominion, let me tell you. After this, we're going to hop on the Blue Ridge Shoalway and then head back towards Planet Snoopy in the jungle. Colt can finally ride Woodstock Express. Mm -hmm. And get a sweet frog. This stick is uh, all business. Oh, the stick is, is ridiculously uh, unnecessary, and I kind of love it. <laughs> when in doubt, don't forget, push pedal to go, release to stop. All right, as Mav makes his descent, from the Blue Ridge Shoalway. Think he had a good time. Matthew, yeah, was that a good ride? Hold on, we gotta wait till he gets to the bottom. Was that a good ride? <laughs> good ride. All right, let's go. Oh, okay, yeah, no. How dare we hold Dennis' hand? All right, Blue Ridge Tollway is a wonderful little ride through the Virginia countryside. During Winterfest, they add the 12 days of Christmas to this ride, which I think is awesome. And we are going to head back over to Planet Snoopy and Jungle Expedition to round out our day. I don't think they've announced what's going in the King's Dominion Theater this year. The signs on either side just have Grand Carnival uh, signage. There was a Cirque show in here, uh, at least back 2019, 2018, I want to say. Uh, we'll see what, if anything, pops up in the King's Dominion Theater this year. Whoa! Oh, we went quick there! Would you say this is Mav's favorite game? Yeah. Easily Maverick's favorite game. Because he knows how to do it. <laughs> We're at the arcade in Candy Apple Grove. Oh. Over by the Ferris wheel, the Americana. Again. Great show. It's got a good variety of games. I'm gonna hit up Ski Ball soon. Go ahead, press the button. Oh, he knew. Oh man. Good job, Miavi. Good try. Again. Yes. I know, right? You're pretty good at getting that one. <laughs> so we're walking down Candy Apple Grove, and I have to point out the Mac Bowl. It is across from Drop Zone, and it is build your own mac and cheese. You can get either cheddar or Alfredo. Um, I want to say there's one other thing, and then you can top it with either bacon or brisket or, or barbecue pork. Uh, it is an absolutely delicious meal, and one that I think that gets overlooked in the Cedar Fair chain. Uh, we have left the arcade. We are heading down Candy Apple Grove. We're going to ride some rides. We're going to head back towards the Jungle Expedition and head back towards Planet Snoopy. Um, and we'll see where we get. It is currently 317. The park does close at 5. So we don't have a ton of more time. 
But we've got enough. We can definitely get a couple more things done. There goes Intimidator. Probably not today, and that's okay. Got it. No, for Intimidator. <laughs> no, Soak City doesn't open until Memorial Day. I know that. <laughs> no, and that's it's okay if I don't ride Intimidator today. I rode Twisted Timbers twice. I'm happy. <laughs> Heading over to ride Bad Apple. Or as the Cedar Point stands call it, Troika, Troika, Troika. You were running, you were running in front of me. Alright, we are in line for our second ride of Bad Apple. There's Delirium running in the background. If you are a Cedar Point stand, this is the Troika, Troika, Troika. I know it's one of Tony Clark's favorites. And we enjoyed it, so we're going to ride it again. I feel like we're supposed to be getting mushrooms right now. It says every 15 minutes or their throats will get spore. And it's 4.01 and I hear background music, but I don't see singing mushrooms. Go ahead, Colty, give us a tune. All right, it is four o'clock. We're gonna head into the jungle, see what we can explore. And then we're gonna end in Planet Snoopy getting some sweet frog. Mavi. All right, quick Timbili update. I, Ronan, and Mason rode it. I enjoyed it. I knew what was what it was going in. I got two flips, so I was happy. Um, Ronan liked it. Mason did not. He felt like it was scarier than Twisted Timbers. So if that's what you're using as your baseline. Some of us felt like it was scarier than Twisted Timbers. Some of us did not. So, I enjoyed it. It's a better ride than the Crypt. Um, and we're going to head over to Planet Snoopy and probably hop on Woodstock Express really quick. And then get some Sweet Frog. And then roll out. Because it's 4.35 and the park closes in 25 minutes. Alright, we'll see you when we get there. All right, so we, we were able to get on Woodstock Express. Colton, what did you think about Woodstock Express? I liked it. <laughs> Ronan, what did you think about Woodstock Express? It opens. It does open. That's how you get the bag out. It opens. So Woodstock Express was wonderfully fine. Um, if you're familiar with the one at Carowinds, it's exactly like that. Um, yeah, I think we are we are done for the day. We're gonna head out. We were gonna get Sweet Frog. We were gonna get Sweet Frog after riding Woodstock Express, but they are closed. I did not see hours, but just know that they are definitely closed at least the last half hour of the park operating day, if not more. They might not have been open at all today. I don't know. Um, but we are going to head out. I'll meet you guys up front with our final thoughts. So we are walking down International Street. We just got the official 5 o'clock King's Dominion is closed for the day announcement. We were going to try to get on Berserker really quick. But alas, Berserker is done for the day. Okay. 
overall, I think it was an absolutely amazing day with an absolutely amazing group of people. We're gonna hit up the bathroom and then we'll give you our final thoughts really quick. Alrighty, we are wrapping up our day at King's Dominion. Boys, did you have a good time? What was your favorite thing? Bad apple. Bad apple, okay. Uh, that's gonna be hard, but to me it's probably the twisting timber. Twisted twist timbers timber. was yours? Um, I had a blast. Hopping on Twisted Timbers twice was amazing. Yep. Getting to ride some Beely was good. Um, I got another credit with Woodstock Express. Haven't hopped on that yet. And, uh, anything else you'd like to add? Woodstock Express, the first to drop, I was like, nope, I need to hold your hand. <laughs> and that's okay. So we will be back multiple times this year to check out add more that they add to Jungle Expedition, to ride my favorite roller coaster in Virginia. I haven't got my Pantheon yet, but I still feel like Twisted Timbers is going to beat it. And just to enjoy the sights and sounds and tastes of King's Dominion. This is Dustin from Park Rovers. Uh, please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like this video because it helps us out. And we will see you next time from King's Dominion. Have a good one.